Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a map dealing with ancient India. And so um, here we have a map that we're going to use, we're going to go through, we're going to color, we're going to talk about some of the things um, and some of the places rather um, in ancient India and therefore modern India. Um, and we're going to go through and color some of these. So today what we're going to do is dealing with all of our all of our bodies of water and all of our rivers we are going to need a blue color. Um, I find color pencil works nicely for this. So we need a blue. We're going to need a purple um, for the Indus Valley civilization. So the where that civilization actually was on this map, where people lived. We're going to need an orange for the Tatar Desert. So we'll need that. Um, there's also the Deccan Plateau, which we will need a green for. And for all of the remaining land, we're going to need a yellow color. So, we're going to need these colors today. So, <clears throat> starting with this, let's go ahead and look at the Indian subcontinent. So, on this continent, um, we have obviously this land mass here and up. And then around here, we actually have a body of water, which is the Indian Ocean. So, first thing that we're going to label here is we're going to label the Indian Ocean. So, let's come down here and neatly label the Indian Ocean. Um, and then we can come over here and we can mark that off. We have the Bay of Bengal, which a bay is an area surrounded largely by land there. So, we're going to label that. And mark it off. Um, so those are our main two there. We also have the Arabian Sea. So up here we'll go ahead and label that. And that gives us our three main bodies of water. Um, we also have some rivers here that we're going to label, however. Um, there's the Brahmaputra River, the Ganges River, and the Indus River. So Looking at our map, um, we can see that there's these map, these here, these here, and this here. So, um, looking at this, let's go ahead and j just start with the Brahmaputra. Just like that. We also have the Ganges, which is right under here. They're rather close together on this side of the map. And then the Indus River, which is over here. And that's the last of our rivers. As you can guess by the name Indus River Valley, that's going to be a lot of where the civilization that we're studying is going to be. Um, so we have those. Um, so we're looking at two main cities here, and both of these cities are going to be along the river. So we have Mahendradaro, and we also have Harappa. So we have Mahendradaro, which is farther south, and we have Harappa, which is higher up here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to label our cities. Mahendradaro and Harappa. And we can mark those off as well. So that's most of the things that we have here that deal with our rivers. As you can see, both of the cities being along our rivers. Um, so let's go ahead, now that we have all of our water down, and let's go ahead and color that on our map. So we're going to go in with our blue. We're going to trace all of the rivers. Coming all the way up here. Including all of our tributaries, the little branches that go off of the river. So that's the Indus River. We're going to come down here and get the Ganges. as you can see kind of leads into the Bay of Bengal 
And this kind of comes off the Arabian Sea. The Ganges and the Brahmaputra both kind of go into the Bay of Bengal. That's kind of where the main source of these rivers, like the wa body of water that they connect to, rather. Let me put it that way. Um, so coming into there. Now we've got our rivers. Now we go in and we do the sea and the oceans. In the bay, of course. So as you can see, the like all of this area we're dealing here with India is surrounded on almost every side, every side except this one, by water, which makes it what's called a subcontinent. Um, well, actually, it makes it a peninsula, but this happens to be a subcontinent, which means that it is a large area that kind of branches off from the main continent, in this case that being Asia. Um, <clears throat> but it is a peninsula, it goes, and it's actually a rather good example of it because you see that on one, two, three sides, it's completely surrounded by water. Got a little box here that creates a key. We'll color around that. You also see there's a large island here. So we can leave that as land mass as well. We wouldn't color that for water. Should have color sharpen my colored pencil, but I'll color that in as well in just a moment. Um, so we have our bodies of water there. Um, we also have some mountains that we're going to do, some deserts and a, well, a desert and a plateau. So let's start with our desert. The tar desert that we're going to deal with here is actually going to be colored in an orange, and it's actually this area here, which you actually can see down here where it says desert and it's got like that speckled dotted um, texture kind of to it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to color in the desert in orange. And we can label it as well. This is the tar desert. come over here. Um, so the, dar the Tar Desert, the Greater Indian Desert, that's there. We've got that. Um, let's go ahead and look at the... Well, let's come and look at the Deccan Plateau. So plateaus we're actually going to do in green here. Um, and it's basically an area of elevated land. It's kind of the short version not like a mountain. It's not like jagged and got different peaks to it. Just an area of elevated land. Okay. So you've got that. I'm going to label it. So we've got that. Um, and then let's finish out our key here. We've got the Indus Valley Civilization, which we're going to do in purple. So this is, when we talk about like, oh, the people in this area did this or believed that or all of that, that's actually going to be the, in this area that we're looking at here, which as you can see, has a dotted line around it. So we're going to go from up here in the dotted line area. It obviously covers a lot of the area around the Indus River, so we're going to go around there. It encompasses some of the Tar Desert, as you can see. So it would come around here, but we're not going to do overlapping colors. Over towards the Arabian Sea.
It's up here towards this mountain range. Encapsulating it. And we'll get to labeling those mountains in just a second. But now we know when we refer to the people of the Indus Valley civilization where they lived. And that's in purple. Um, so we've gone through, we've done the plateau, we've done the Indus Valley civilization. What we really haven't done here is mountains. And there's quite a few mountains that we're actually going to be looking at on this map. Um, because there's a mountain range down here, down here, right here, across here, and there. Okay? When we talk mountain ranges over here, the main one that we're going to hear about is the Himalayas. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to label the Himalayas, which are along here. Um, they have some of the highest mountains in the world. Um, and in fact, the highest peak in the world, which we'll learn about later. Um, but that's in the Himalaya Mountains. We also have the Hindu Kush Mountains, which are kind of up here. Um, and we're going to label them. So, Hindu Kush Mountains right there. Mark them off. We have the Vendaya Mountains, um, which are right in here. And we can mark them off. So, we've got the Vendaya Mountains, the Hindu Kush Mountains, we have the Himalayas, the Himalaya Mountains, right? And then we have these two down here, which um, I mark kind of together here because we have the Eastern Ghat and the Western Ghat mountain range, okay? So the Western Ghats, um, as you might imagine, are in the West, right? Western Ghat Mountains, which leaves these to be the Eastern Ghat Mountains. Um, they run along the sides of the peninsula, and then they kind of they create a barrier, and then they kind of taper off before actually getting down towards the sea, like the sea and the bay and all that, right? So we have all of our mountain ranges there. So we just went in and we labeled all of them. So going through this, we have our bodies of water, <coughs> which I need to sharpen my pencil and finish. We have the rivers, all three of those, the Indus Valley Civilization, the Tar Desert, the Deccan Plateau. All of this remaining land, all of the land that is on this map that is not already colored in, we're actually going to go in with a yellow, just to show that this is land. So, going along in here, we're going to go ahead and do that. Just to create a very finished look to our map. So all of this land that we did not already color, we're going to go in and we're going to color. Um, and this basically will be our India map. Um, these are the main things that we're going to learn about, the main things that we're going to need to know about as we start learning about the Indus Valley civilization and about all the things that happened in ancient India. And it's important that we start with the geography, obviously, because if we don't know the geography of a place, we don't know how that's going to shape the way that people think, or the things that they value, or what they believe, or kind of the way that they view life. Um, so these are things that we're going to need to know. Also, it's important to know about all of these different things like the seas and the mountains and stuff, because those are barriers that are going to affect the way that they interact with the rest of the people around them, or the way that they don't interact. <coughs> It's going to create natural barriers that can help protect them or that could affect the way that they do and don't trade with other civilizations. Um, things like mountains especially can create that problem. Though also deserts.
And make sure that you are please coloring all the way to the edge of the map as we finish up. Okay guys, so other than needing to go back and finish coloring in the water on my map, this is basically what your map will look like. Because if you need, if you're having that same problem, you need to finish up with your water. So we've got all the things on our map. We're going to be able to use this as we learn, as we move forward. So we have our map. We have our key that we filled in. Um, we've gone through and we've made sure that we have all of the stuff that we need to label. And we are ready to glue this in our notebook and keep it and use it to help us on any future quizzes and to help us learn the geography. So anyway guys, here's the map and I hope it helps.